just making this short video in answer to inquiries about how I finished my work the, the uh, varnish I put on um, I don't use wax polish because um, it needs maintaining and a lot of the carvings I do are very fragile and they get broken uh, in which case it's probably neglected and then it tends to go dull uh, and get dusty and mucky so I use uh, a polyurethane varnish which never needs touching uh, it says on the can ultra tough matte coat tough polyurethane matte varnish for interior wood now apart from the varnish we need uh, clean brushes and they have to be clean because the varnish is uh, quite a strong solvent and will bring out any dirty paint that's in the uh, brushes and ordinary kitchen towels now the carving has been sanded to a very smooth finish down to 240 grit so we take our brush and we slop varnish all over the carving like this make sure you cover everything get it in all the corners then get your kitchen towels and wipe it all off again so that all you're left with is a very thin smear of varnish now then you need another clean brush to get all the excess varnish out of the corners because the uh, the matte effect of the varnish is created by some sort of powder that they put in the varnish and if it settles in a sort of puddle and dries um, it tends to go white and also you'll get sticky sort of runs so in effect we've removed as much of the varnish as we possibly can so we've now got a very very thin coat of varnish which will dry in a few minutes and hopefully will not attract a lot of dust when this is dry 24 hours you can if you wish you can rub it over again with some wire wool get it extra smooth and repeat this about three or four times you will then end up with uh, a very durable finish that uh, is waterproof and will never need touching again it won't be completely matte it will actually be uh, a sort of slight satin finish okay well thanks for listening